Hey guys, Wes here from Insert Frame. We're going to create a multi-step form inside of Framer using Framer Forms. So this is a brand new feature and it's super intuitive once you know how. But as with all our videos, leave a comment if you're having trouble and we'll help you out. So in front of us, we have a standard form. And at this length, people should have no issues completing it. But once it starts to get a little bit longer, people take one look at it and say, no thanks but break them up into smaller steps and suddenly everyone's filling in your form and you've got leads left, right and center. So first what you wanna do is head to your Framer Forms dashboard and grab the multi-step form component and paste it onto the page. Now I've got all my components to the left of the page to speed things up, so I'm just gonna drag it inside the form layer. I'll open up my layers panel so we can see. Now don't worry, this won't show up in your preview or on the live site. The next thing I'll do is select all my form inputs, not including the button, and I'll add a stack around them. So add stack, just like that. Now this next part is really important, so you gotta listen up. You have to name the stack pages. Now it doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase or whatever, but it has to say pages. If you don't do this, it won't work. Now we're gonna separate the fields into steps. So to do that, we just wanna select the ones that we wanna be in a single step, and then we're just gonna turn them into a stack, the same way as we did before. It's that simple. So in my form, I'd like to turn it into three steps. So first, the name and the email, as I've already done there, and then I also want the radio group. Now this is a stack already, so it should work, but I'm just gonna wrap it in another stack anyway, just for good measure. And I'll do the same for the optional text field. So now I've got three stacks. So if I close it up, open it back up in pages, you can see three stacks, which means there'll be three steps. So let's preview it. Nice, only the first step is showing, except I'm stuck. I can't go to the next step. So you'll need to head back to the Frame of Forms dashboard and grab the multi-step form button component. You want to paste it onto the page. I've got mine here. And then you want to duplicate it. Because one's going to be the next, uh, take us to the next page, and then one's going to take us to the previous page. And you can change it like this. Now, I've already gone ahead and um, styled mine the way that I like, so I'm just going to paste it in below the submit button just like that. And if you preview the page, you now have a multi-step form. But let's take it a step further. Go ahead and grab the form navigation dots component from the Framer Forms dashboard and paste it into the top of the page. Let's preview. So as you can see right out of the box, we can see how many steps there are and we can even skip back to a specific step. Amazing, right? But it doesn't even stop there. You can switch out the form navigation dots for a progress bar. Put that right up the top and then delete the other one. And it'll look like this. Personally, I think the progress bar looks really great with an inner shadow. So if I just add one here. So I think that looks really cool, but Make sure to check out all the different styling options and all the different settings here to open up completely new opportunities for how you can build your form your way. So I hope this helped and that you're inspired now to build something awesome in Framer. See ya.